I want to show you how to create a custom search engine and this is my Google page but I'll take you to it from the classic home page um, go to classic home today is Earth Day and so what I want to do is show you some of the hidden stuff that you can find I have a Google account so I'm already signed in and what I'm going to do is come over here to the top left and I don't want to click on more I want to click on the little arrow and I'm going to go down and click on even more and now you get all these Google products so the one that I'm looking for is this one right here called custom search I'm going to click on custom search and this allows me to create a search engine using just websites that I think are important um, it can give access to the full web with priority to the websites that I think are important or it can limit the searches solely to the websites that I think are important and this is useful when you're dealing with students especially um, nowadays they seem to have very poor internet search skills and this allows you to start them out with instead of the entire internet um, just a small portion of it that you can kind of better address the ideas of good searches and proper search techniques and even evaluating whether or not a website is uh, trustworthy or not. So all I do is go to create a custom search engine. They've added a lot of functionality to this from the very beginning. Used to it was very stripped down. Um, now I can give it a name. So I want to create a custom search engine on a um, project that we're getting ready to do in my class. So this one will be on um, types of chemical reactions. So we'll just put types of chemical reactions and um, I can give a search engine description if I want but you know with my students I really um, kind of explain it to them in class so I don't have to worry about it um, search engine language is English um, what do you want to search I only want to search the sites that I select and so I can come down here and I can start putting in some of the sites that I've found so um, one of the ones that I think is useful for students to get a basic understanding of things is kimforkids.com. Um, I can also allow them to use Wikipedia if I so choose and by doing it this way it allows them to search all of Wikipedia. It will do that automatically within the search engine. So for the purposes of this demonstration we're just going to go okay um, these two websites is what we want. Standard edition there are ads um, you know and that's just kind of the reality of, of search these days so it's a good thing to just stick with the free one um, unless you know your school wants to pay the money for no ads on these custom search engines but it's not really necessary um, I've read and agree to the terms of service click next and so there it is it's all nice and finished it'll send a confirmation to my email address and so I can even try it out so let's say I want to look at um, covalent bonding And pops up all these things from the websites that I told it all the results so this is a nice handy way of limiting uh, research to help manage students on the internet and help them kind of navigate their way around without just throwing them into the very very deep end of a very very large pool um, this allows you to have a bit more control and, and really help them deal with it